I'm going to show you some of the features of the text tool. Creating text objects in Designer 6 is incredibly easy. I just select the text tool and I can do different types of text. If I just click and start typing, this is some text. That is a standalone text object that is just a free form, single line text that I can resize and move and create as a simple text object. If, on the other hand, I do a click, drag across the page and release, I get a text column. So this is some text in a column. And you can see that as I type, it's all wrapped within the column. I can actually adjust the width of the column as well to suit. If I want to change the size of the text, then I use a normal facilities. I can select the text. And we've got a little control here, which allows me to dynamically control the size of the text within the text field. We've also got a shortcut, which is quite useful. If I type Control shift l it inserts a paragraph of pseudo-Latin. And so if you want to fill up a column, just a few presses of Control shift l is a great way of creating a load of text. And so here you can see, for example, that I've now got a column and we've got dynamic, real-time reflowing of text as I adjust the column width. The last type of text tool that we've got is a text frame. And again, in the text tool, all I do is drag diagonally on the back of the page. And this creates a text box or a text frame. And similarly, if I do Control shift l you can see that that fills a frame. And so these text frames are used in web documents quite a lot. So those are the three types of text objects that we support. Simple plain text objects, text columns, or text frames, or text areas. One of the new features in Designer 6 is that we've added some more controls here. And so, for example, we've now got bulleted lists and numbered lists. If I just put a gap in here, click the bullet style, this is a bullet. Each time I create a new item, it's a bulleted item. Or I can go and change the style to be a numbered list, so that each time I enter a new item, it's an automatically numbered list. We've got indent, so now I can indent this. And so I've got a sublist that starts from 1. And if I outdent it back again, it will carry on from where it left off on the level above. What you can also do is change the style. If you right-click over the numbered lists, You've got an option here called List Properties, and if I select that, you can see that I can choose from a variety of different styles and types of numbered lists. So all of these are like you get in most word processors. So for example, I can have lowercase Roman numerals. If I click OK, you can see now it becomes 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, etc.